What's up, all our Motorhead friends? Check it out. Gen 1 Camaro in the house. Missing a lot of stuff. But if you yeah. just think about all the things that are missing, what we just might be doing. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Upgrade and update. We're talking an LS3. All kinds of goodies laid into the 68 Camaro. That's right. It's going to go, stop, turn, stick around. <laughs> You know, there are two things I'm pretty confident about. One is that girls don't realize how handsome my mom says I am. And two, first-gen Camaros will always be cool. Yes. <laughs> I agree with the second statement. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, a lot of people love Gen 1s. You see them everywhere, right? You think maybe you're getting some overdose. But I'm not one of those guys who think overdose because no. I love them too, man. One of yeah, my favorites. Man. You gotta love the story of how this car came to be. In 65, right, there was a big rumor about a, a car Chevrolet was building, right, to be a competitor against the Mustang. Well, this was it. It was designated as what they called a Panther, right? They sent letters, they got everybody fired up about it, and they revealed the car, right? Everybody was like, what's a Camaro, right? Yeah, and there's two stories to that, right? Yeah. If you if you really get what a Camaro, the name came from, right? Yeah. There's sort of a friend, comrade, sort of some blend it's in there, slang, French, yeah. English yeah. slang, right? And that's what they wanted the car to be to the owner. But if you ask some of the uh, press guys, sure. right, to the journalists, they say, oh, it's some small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. <laughs> that's what they were <laughs> told the car or the Camaro was. And really, what a great platform, man. When this came on, you know, the scene, it really answered that you know, call against the Mustang. So a rival competitor, smaller wheelbase car, man, but they would stuff some big time motors. And that's what we're gonna get into today is changing out that old motor that it had in it. It's a 350 68 Camaro, but we're gonna upgrade it. And I'm talking an LS3, uh, that's gonna yeah. be fantastic. Classic. Any LS platform in these first-gen Camaros, dude, they just rock. Yeah. Now, this is the first of the F-body series, right? Yeah. And this first gen of the Camaro that's now six gens deep. Yeah. And they had a plethora of different engine and transmission combinations, sure. right? To go up against the Mustang, but still be able to entice sort of that, you know, V6 or I6 customer exactly. all the way up to the racer. Right. You had that 230 cubic against six cylinder, right? Yep. All the way up to the 396 available in this guy. 350, 302, yeah. 307, 327, RS, 350, SS, 396, Z28, 302 in that one. Like all kinds of, you know, makes, models, and applications. And some sneaky engines that you could get from the dealer only. Those yes. 427s. <laughs> so, yeah, man, they came out with a plan and they rocked it. And of course, they set the stage. It's never died down. Yeah, man. And we're going to love it today, throwing all kinds of upgrades at it. You guys stick around. All right, when we said we were really going to go in here and tear into everything, we weren't lying. No, man. I mean, look what we have sitting up here, and look what it's going to replace back here. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a difference, right? Yeah, you thought all this was where we were at, you know, ending up. <laughs> That's just where we started. All of this is yeah. going away, and this is replacing it. Now, you can see some of the differences on what we're doing, right? The old factory, big, clunky, stamped, formed yeah. sort of cross member front yeah. frame subframe that's all going away but look at it just a comparison right you had this nice box frame box channel here compared to the stamp stuff you have here man it's just so much better of a design right oh yeah right out of the gate cleaner lighter and we're going to show you a lot of the upgrades along yes. the way but you can just get an idea of right this old stamped control yeah. arm here's the new top arm it's going to be a whole different animal yes. when we're finished. And you can see when you talk about mm. the animal, look at the beast that's going on under this hood. Right. Now, this was a 350 car. He actually put a stroker motor in this at one time, but it still didn't have enough horsepower, so he opted for the LS3. Now, understand, for you old school guys, you might think LS3 would be that 402 back from the early 70s. Nah, LS3, man. These things bark 430 horsepower, basically 430 foot pounds of torque, 10.71 compression. Basically, you sneeze on them and make 550 horsepower. I was going to say, because that's factory. Yeah. You sneeze a little bit, and man, you're really making some power. 500. Yeah, no. <laughs> 
Fuck drill 50. down over here. Let's start looking yeah. at some of the details here. This is a pretty awesome setup. Yeah. Now, we got so many goodies <sighs> to wrap this LS engine from Fatman Fabrications. And, and again, this is their G-Tech suspension system for the first-gen Camaro. So it's going to work on 67 through 69 Camaros. And really, man, great, great. Just look at it. So nice, so clean, yeah. so detailed, uh, so much better engineered than what that was from 1968. Yeah, now you can use any of the standard engine combinations, but obviously we got just a little bit of a, a kit set up for the LS engine, mm -hmm. has all your pan clearances, et cetera. And then, like we said, besides just the frame, let's start talking about some of the upgrades. Yeah, man, big time suspension upgrades, right? Now let's talk some of these tubular control arms. Now we're gonna get this up here. Now, just the geometry of this is gonna make it handle, steer, perform so much better. And it actually, believe it or not, it gets the pan up a little bit higher. So, you know, it just makes driving street stuff just that much better and practical when you're out there, you know, especially in a first gen Camaro, showing it off, having some fun, you know? Yeah, now they've also thought a lot, you know, they've narrowed the track width up an inch on either side yeah. so you can get bigger tires in there. Always right? a plus. A lot of us pro touring guys, pretty excited about that. Exactly, man. And obviously, you know, when we get to hanging all kinds of these suspension components, so much better than that old school IFS stuff. We're gonna have coilovers on here, stuff that really lets you allow, get out of this car, whether it's track days, whether it's autocross stuff, or just banging around on the street, man. The rideability, drivability, durability is gonna be a lot better. Yeah, so we're gonna get started putting the suspension together. We've already obviously got the engine hung in here. We can go ahead and dress this thing out quite a bit. Then we can raise the car up, pull the old one out, slide this one in, and all those goodies just gonna go all in almost yeah. in one shot. It really is cool that we can do this and slide it up under there. I've been doing that a lot with my chargers lately, just dropping the K-member, motor and transmission right out from underneath it. Such an easier way to go than, remember the old days where we'd have one of these and you'd pull the motor out of the hood and yeah. what a mess that was. This is gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, we're gonna start on this lower control arm. Uh, we'll get this one mounted off, go to the spindle and sort of work our way up until we have something that looks kinda like a suspension. Yeah. Making some serious progress. You can see we've got the full setup over here. We've got our coil over in here from Ride Tech. That comes with the kit. Yeah. Premium valving, so you're gonna have superior ride and handling, which is cool. We got our steering arms bolted on to our upright, our knuckles, and we're ready for another yeah. major upgrade. Yeah, we're kidding when we said upgrades, right? And updates. Now, this old 68 had that old gearbox, man. And if you know anything about those gearboxes, they get so sloppy. Worm gear in there wears out. They get really nasty. But we're updating with a rack and pinion. Now, real fast, I want to show you something else included in this Fat Man kit, the rack and pinion. And they put this additional sleeve in here, the spacer in here, because if you can see, it's kind of offset. But again, it's included into the kit. Nothing to it, a couple bolts, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, and what that's gonna do is ensure that our bump steer is right. So again, making sure all the geometry for premium handling, cornering, carving up the roads. Heck yeah. All right, just finishing up our rack and pinion, which is gonna be great. We have our G-Tech tall spindle on here. It's actually gonna lower the ride of the car, the CG. That's gonna be nice and improved handling. And when we come back from the brakes, we're talking brakes. That's right, brake upgrades. Gotta love that. Other than a few stylistic flourishes, not much about the Chevy Camaro changed between 1967 and 1968. Can you tell which one of these features differentiates the 1967 from a 1968? We'll have the answer after the break. Which of these features distinguish a 1967 Camaro from a 1968? If you guessed A and B, you're right. The 1967 Camaro has circular door mirrors. The Camaro got rectangular mirrors starting in 1968. And side marker lights were a government mandated model change for 1968. Both the 1967 and 68 models have round dash gauges. And square gauges were introduced for the 1969 Camaro. 
Hey, gang, welcome back. As you can tell, man, we are well on our way with our Fat Man Fabrication G-Tech front end. Check it out. We got rack and pinion. We got coilovers. We got tuba control arms. It's narrowed. It's better. You're just going to love it. <laughs> I'm ready to drive it right now. <laughs> yeah, man, me too. Let's okay, hurry. Let's hurry. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Now, we're on the spindles, okay? Now, the great thing about the spindles, right, have the factory holes. So this bracket that we got from Master Power Brakes, Fits right in for any brake upgrade, or if you already have brake upgrades, you'll notice it bolts right up to these spindles, no worries. Yeah, now check out the rest of kind of the disc conversion kit we've got from Master Power. Awesome, 13 inch rotors, Ooh. check them out. Drilled, slotted, zinc coated, so they're not gonna Beast. corrode on you. They're just monsters, so you know the more power you make, you got all the confidence in the stopping, and check out that jewel you got over there, man. Yeah, man, now this thing is sweet. Check out this caliper, all right? It's all machine nice, aluminum, so it's gonna dissipate heat, all right? Big monster pads, four pistons. Look at the size of this thing, man. <laughs> that is gonna give you some serious stopping power. That is an <laughs> incredibly serious setup right there, man. Yeah. Uh, now, we can't forget about the, the hub. So this is a really nice piece that also comes with the kit. What's cool I wanna point out is it's already greased, sealed, ready to go. Nice. So essentially, you could just slide this guy right onto the spindle and uh, start your assembly right out of the gate. There we go. You know, fairing, got my washer. And uh, yeah, with my nut here, we're gonna run this down, give it the right compression, and uh, throw a little cotter bin through there. Now we can start assembling all these beautiful pieces and get this thing just about ready to stomp a pedal once it's all over there. like a oh snap moment. I mean, just <laughs> like look back at all this goodies sitting here, all shiny and everything. Yes. Like, wow. <laughs> that's the epitome of old and this is the epitome of new. Yeah, man, that's the crackle and pop. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So check it out, man. LS3, all the upgrades, coilovers, tuba control arms. How about these brakes? How about that caliper? All this gets put in that. You know what? That still has to get out of there yes. for this to get in there. So <laughs> obviously we have a lot of work to do, mm -hmm. but we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna switch gears a little bit, get back on that ARP Camaro. It's always a great feeling to get behind the wheel of a brand new car or truck. Between that new smell and the comfort of knowing every mile on the odometer, it's hard to beat. But we all know with every mile, that nice new engine slowly begins to wear down. That is, unless you use Hot Shot Secret's FR3 Friction Reducer. This high-performance formula provides superior lubrication to the host oil, eliminating metal-to-metal -metal contact and reducing engine wear by up to 42% over oil by itself. The anti-wear component is a patented carbon nanoparticle that attaches itself to the microscopic irregularities of the engine's surfaces that oil alone cannot protect. For use in both diesel and gas applications, this formula is setting new standards in the efficiency of today's engine. If you want to get the most life out of your new car or truck, you can rely on Hot Shot Secret FR3 Friction Reducer to make it happen. This tip is brought to you by Hot Shot Secret. Powered by science. Hey gang, welcome back. And speaking of back, look what's back. Our 2010 ARP Camaro, good to see it, right? Yeah, man, SS, 426 horsepower, right, LS3. Obviously these things came out of the factory just jamming, yeah. but we've been having a lot of fun with our friends at ARP and Chevrolet Performance, yeah. putting a lot of upgrades and goodies. Now think about it, all right? We went from that original gear set to a 391. Also, we changed up that shifter. Yeah, You gotta appreciate Short, that. Fast, precise. Yep. And we changed out some of the exhaust, that muffler. Oh, so, it sounds good. Yeah, man. It definitely Indeed, sounds good. It does. So 
you know, notching it up, getting all our ARP fasteners bolted in. And now check this out, what we're going to do to it today. So this is the Gen 5 Z28, basically, upgrade air intake system. And this thing is a direct fit for like a Camaro SS. And you got to love it, man. A 51% reduction in air restriction. So this thing is gobbling up cool air. And right out of the gate, you notice some unique things about it. I love the fact that it's an open air box. This is going to seal to the hood. Now, why would you want this to seal to the hood? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, to keep that hot, recirculated air, right, from going in here into our cold air intake system. So, yeah. you want cold air. You know the equation for happiness, all right? Cooler air means denser. Denser air means you can throw more fuel at it. I'm feeling happier already. Yeah. That means more power. That's right. Now, this is the highest flowing filter of any Camaro. And because it's OE, you know, it's high quality. Yeah. You've got everything in the kit ready to just yeah. drop it in. And you can see as we work from, you know, the filter in the box, we've got our little zip tube here. And we even have all the hose and everything ready to connect up your PCV system with clamps. Yep. So it's just that easy. Yeah, man. Replaceable conical filter, right? So you could, you know, you could use this one, which again, like he said, Gives a lot more flow, a lot more air to that system, bigger charge, and that equals more horsepower. So I think the only thing we need for that happiness equation is to get it in here. Yeah, you start on that end, I'll work All on right. this end. All right, we've got just about everything in. We upgraded our ARP fasteners on yeah. that end. We've got our zip tube. Don't forget, put your MAF sensor connector back on. And our PCV, we're just routing the holes. All we got to do is trim it, connect it. We're done. Now, we're going to take a break, but <laughs> next time. Yes, next time you see this ARP Camaro, it might be out of track. All right? Fun, fun. Got to love you guys that. back. When it comes to police cars, taxis, ambulances, and other vehicles that are used for severe duty operation, the braking demands go far beyond what a commuter vehicle requires. Tough jobs require even tougher brakes. The Bendix Fleet Metlock Severe Duty line of disc brake pads are engineered and designed especially for those applications. These semi-metallic brake pads utilize a heavy-duty material which provides not only long life, but virtually fade-free performance. Bendix designed these burnishing strips to break in and clean the rotor surface for proper pad seating and a quality pedal feel from the start. These strips virtually eliminate the break-in process, meaning your vehicle is ready for service sooner. The use of high-quality friction material and pad geometry design reduces stopping distances and keeps things running cool. And the high-caliber steel shims combined with OE-style slots and chamfers provide quiet braking. Abutment kits and brake hardware are included for a quick and easy installation. We recommend pairing these brakes with Fleet Metlock Rotors for the ultimate severe duty braking solution. Available at your local Federated Auto Parts. This segment of Two Guys Garage is brought to you by Classic Parts of America, your supplier for classic Chevy truck parts for over 30 years. Hey gang, welcome back. And look what came back on the lift the 1968 Camaro. Now, as you can see, we made significant progress getting all this from here over to here. <laughs> yeah, and really, it's surprising because it's only four bolts. But getting to those four bolts, ugh, somewhat tricky. Yeah, right? you can see, you know, so our frame, everything's attached to it. So it's one half here, the other half's a car. Four <laughs> body mounts, there's one, there's another yeah. one up here, same two on the other side. So literally, this all can just slide right out come back together, yeah. and of course, all the fenders and wiring and radiators and hoods and all exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, you get rid of that old gearbox and get more room up here if your system works. But now the real trick here is we have this new LS-based motor, right? And then here, you have the 1968 dashboard. But this needs to interpret all kinds of data, and you want to, you know, get all kinds of data in yeah. here. Oil the pressure, new yeah. tachometer, all these things cooling. These are different sensors. So let's show you what we got going in the dash. So the big question is, how do you marry all the data that the LS needs and you want in the cockpit of the car, right, to some of those old analog gauge systems like we had here and still keep the styling, right? Yeah, well, you can go two ways, right? You can 
double up on sensors, which is essentially what we're gonna do, and you can run analog sensors to analog gauges, but this is old school. Mm -hmm. We wanna get a new setup, and yes. maybe even add some gauges in here, but we're gonna go digital. Yeah, now we got this from Classic Parts of America. It's a Dakota Digital Dash, and look at all the info it's gonna provide you. And a great part is, it comes with all the wiring you need, like, like Bird was saying, really, if you had the old analog, say, you know, temp, oil pressure, even a 700R4, you know, with the transmission, you have all the adequate cables and whatnot to plug it and program it right into your box here. Yeah, so this will mount somewhere in front of the dash, and you can just run a couple of cables up to here, and you can see there's not much yeah. going on except a few connectors. Yeah, some data links, and you'll be good. Yeah, you want to show them how this thing's yeah. going to look? Check this. So, turn this around a little bit, and then... Now, compared to, right, the old cluster, Look at all the data info you're gonna get compared to the mechanical setup, right? And all the things that the LS is gonna need from your end. Yeah, now this is gonna be really nice, clean and simple. And because we got it for the exact, you know, 67 to 69 Camaro, everything's gonna bolt in nice and we're gonna have all this info <laughs> and it's gonna look new and shiny. I just gotta get it in there, so I guess that's my job. <laughs> Those gauges are looking good, man. Yeah, man. I got you a surprise. Yeah. A Willie B performance upgrade. Hair? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? All right, it's the WeatherTech ready to wash system, man. It's gonna make Willie B wash cars faster. Man, I'm lightning fast as is, but I like it, bro. I like it. <laughs> right, a little car squeegee. Yeah, a little right. washy mitt. All right, right yeah. you got soap in there, you got a chair, you can <laughs> sit down, brother. I'm looking out for you, man. I Let's appreciate some more it. car wash. All right, I appreciate it, man. Fast motivation more car wash. to get this one done so we can wash it too. Look at all the stuff we've done to it. The Fat Man Fab, whole subframe in, that nasty little LS3. We got the Master Power brakes all in this thing. It is well on its way to being road worthy. Yeah, man, you left out four speed auto trans. We got all your gauges done. Mm -hmm. So keep your chops. Lick him, because we'll be back soon for another episode. Until then, we'll see you guys. I'm going to go get cleaned up.